Hey everybody, it's Chris Shannon here from the Miss Magnolia State Pageant. And I guess a lot of you have already heard, but yesterday we were chosen as the second best pageant in the United States of America, which is super exciting to me. Uh, last year we were actually named in the top five, which was a, a shock because I knew nothing about it. And I woke up one morning, I had like 50 texts on my phone saying we were in the top five. So I got an email this year to remind me to watch the live announcement about the pageant planets, um, best pageants in America. So I watched it last night and it kept buffering. I kept missing it. And they started at the 10th place and 9th place. And I called a couple of them. And then my, my um, phone finally came back alive at about the third place. And I thought, oh no, we didn't get anything. And then there it was, bam, second place, Miss Magnolia State pageant. I was so excited. I was watching it with Ray and um, I might have screamed just a little bit. I can't remember. But I was super excited. I'm super humble and thankful and blessed for this honor. I know our pageant's awesome because we work all year long to make it that way. We have the best people involved and it's just really great that somebody else sees, especially from another state, how much work we put into something like this. Now on the Pageant Planet's website, they have a small write-up about our pageant system, telling America what we're about and um, the goals we have. Now, all of you know that we have two state pageants. We have the Little Miss Magnolia State Pageant and we have the Miss Magnolia State Pageant. Now our Little Miss Magnolia State Pageant is held in July each year and it's for boys and girls ages zero to 11. Now what makes this pageant a little bit different is we don't allow our girls to wear full-fledged pageant dresses. They can't wear fake hair. They can't wear fake eyelashes. They can't have spray tans. We try to keep them a little more natural. We do let them fix their hair and we do let them wear makeup and they can wear cute little dresses, but we are not a national glitz type pageant. So we wanna keep our Mississippi girls a little more natural so anyone can afford to enter something like this. Um, I take a lot of pride in keeping our pageants very affordable and for the money you pay, you really get a, a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, we make sure all the kids go home with a crown. We don't tell them that though. We surprise them at the state pageant with that. Uh, they all get their banner, they get a video, they get a tote bag full of gifts, they get trophies, they get all kinds of awards. And um, our Miss Magnolia State pageant, the one in November, they all get a lot of gifts too. They have a fabulous weekend with us. They learn a big dance number. The winners each in our little kid pageant and our older girls each receive $1,000 cash when they win. And our four older queens in November each receive a Caribbean cruise or a vacation. We've done all-inclusive vacations and we've done cruises. This year, we're taking our four queens to Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel. So we do that in, in July to the beginning of August. Now let's talk about what girls like in a pageant. That's the crown. Now we spend a lot of time designing our crowns and I think our crown is one of the most beautiful in the country. Even the pageant planet said we really had amazing crowns, which we take a lot of pride in. Oh, and look at this. I happen to have one right here with us. Now the Miss Magnolia State pageant, the one in November for our older girls, this is their crown. You see, it's amazing. I had these designed, I designed the crown. But um, I worked with a crown designer and they helped pick out the colors and the shape. Um, it's a little big, so our winners usually need a big head. <laughs> or um, they have to tease their hair up a lot to wear this because it is pretty big. Now our Little Miss crowns, we just changed those up. We did have the giant pink Mississippi shaped crown, but we wanted our brand to kind of follow through a little bit more. So last year we redesigned the Little Miss crown to look more like our Miss Magnolia State crown. So this is the crown we had made for our little winners. And um, it's not full, it's more of a tiara to adjust to fit their heads, but um, it's our same colors. And I don't know if you can see it really good, but it has these pearls in the crown and they're actually in the shape of magnolia flowers. I don't know if a lot of you have realized that, but um, we have five of them across the crown. So those are our crowns and our banners are in our trademark colors of green and white. Now, you might be wondering about our competitions. For the Little Miss and Mr. Magnolia State Pageant, we just have two competitions. We have their beauty clothes for boys. It's just no tuxedos, it's just dress clothes, uh, little suits. And the girls, it's no full-fledged glitz level pageant dresses. They can be cupcake dresses, Sunday dresses, Easter dresses, flower girl dresses that don't touch the floor, anything like that. 
Now, this pageant is really great because it only has the two competitions for the kids. The beauty competition that I just mentioned and a casual wear competition. Now, casual wear is just anything that they want to wear that shows their personality, anything cute and fun. So, in our Miss Magnolia State pageant, the one in November, for our older girls, we have three competitions. We have the casual wear competition, the evening gown competition, and the all-important interview competition. Now, all three of those categories count for one-third of the contestant's score, but we all know, being human, that your interview is always your most important. If a judge really falls in love with you in interview, they usually score you a little bit better in the other competitions just because they've already formed a bond where they like you so much. Now, I'm very proud of the pageant we've created here in Mississippi. It's very affordable compared to other pageants throughout the state and the country, and you really do get a lot of bang for your buck, like I said. Now, our pageant, I keep in mind, because I grew up with zero money, so I understand parents on a budget. We have our pageants designed where they can sell donation tickets, um, ads in the program book, anything like that to raise their fees so they can compete on the statewide level. We don't um, allow the pageant dresses so the parents don't have to spend $2,000 on a dress. For little kids, I always tell parents, why would you spend $2,000 on a dress when you can put that money up for their college education or something? So you can go to Walmart Belt, get them a cute dress, compete at a state pageant, win the prettiest crowd in the state, and have a great time with us. And your kid might win $1,000 to also put up for college. Now, I actually began my pageant career when I was just 18 years old. I won't tell you how many years ago that was, but it was a few years ago. And I created a pageant, and I had such a good time with it. I always did pageants a little bit when I had a full-time job as a way to have fun, to make extra money, that type of thing. And then when I turned 30, I found a way to do pageants as a full-time career. So that is what I do full-time now is I put on the pageants and I'm glad I don't have another job beside pageants because these things take all of my time. I actually work on it almost 24 seven all the time. I'm always thinking about ways to make the pageant better, things to do, make the contest contestants happier, that type of thing. Now, when I was a little kid, I guess God just put it in me that I was supposed to be a pageant director because I remember being in the fourth and fifth grade when we would have recess, I would actually go outside and I would get the girls in the class and we would play pageant. I would always be the MC. I would line them up on the bleachers and I was also the judge, I guess, because I'd call out who got runners up and who won. It was a lot of fun. When I was in high school, I remember I might be a little bit different with pageants because I think I was in the 10th grade and I was telling my friends, oh, I'm excited, Miss USA comes on tonight. And they were like, what? So I've always had that love of pageants. And when I, became, when I turned 18, I needed a way to find um, a little more money to go to college and everything. So I put on my very first pageant. I lived in Kapaya County, so it was called the Beauties of Kapaya County. Then I started the state pageant. No way, I take that back. The next thing I did was at age 19, I actually became the youngest director of a Miss Mississippi local pageant. I directed the Miss Kapaya County pageant for five years from age um, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I guess until I was 23. Then I left that pageant and I went on to become a local director for the Miss USA pageant, um, the Miss Mississippi USA pageant when they allowed local pageants. So I, I played around with both of those for about 10 years. Then I was still doing my own little pageants on the side. I actually had a pageant system called Southern Magnolia in the 90s that eventually turned into what we have now called the Miss Magnolia State Pageant. The Miss Magnolia State Pageant began in the year 2000, which we just called it the Mrs. Mississippi Wife of the Year Pageant. It was just a Mrs. division with the little kids still being called Southern Magnolia in a different system. So then I did the Mrs. pageant again the second year, and we had seven contestants. Then the third year, I changed it and added a teen and a Miss division, and we jumped up to 45 contestants. Then the next year, I moved it to Vicksburg, Mississippi, to the Vicksburg City Auditorium, where we now call home, and we had 105 contestants. And ever since then, I believe that was... It was the end of 2002 because we crowned our 2003 winners. We've never gone under 100 contestants at that pageant. Um, one year we had 170 contestants. One year before I die in the future, um, I, I would love it for it to hit 200 contestants just to prove to myself we could do it. Now the Little Miss Magnolia State pageant always hits over 200 contestants, but that's our little kids ages 0 to 11. 
and um, we've hit up to 285 contestants in that. So of course, one year before I die, it needs to hit 300 just so I can say we did that and accomplished it. Now, I personally believe God wanted me to do this. That's why he put me in this state when I was born. He wanted me to do something fun and exciting for our state because I love our state. I'm a seventh generation Mississippian, but we don't have as many things to do here as in other states sometimes. So the Miss Magnolia State Pageant is something unique and great for our state, and I do love it. Now, I truly, truly, truly believe that God keeps his hand in our pageant system. I've had too many great things happen to me and this pageant to know that I'm in this alone. God does everything for this pageant. He brings in the right people to the pageant that need to meet each other, need to become friends, need an, uh, an extended family. He just really works wonders with this pageant. I'm so grateful to him. I used to sing at these pageants all the time and I'd always start off with a religious song, but um, I don't do that anymore. I might get back to that one of these days, but um, that might be in the future. But anyway, a big shout out to God for, thank, for blessing us. And I'd like to thank him again for everything he does to make the Miss Magnolia State pageant what it is. Now, if you're interested in getting involved in our pageant and you haven't been involved before, you can easily just go to our website. It's www.missmagnoliastate.com. No spaces or anything. And when you get to the website, you'll see some of our pictures and everything. But you just go to the top and you click under Applications. And then you'll see a list of all of our local pageants we have booked. Now, we have local pageant directors all over the state of Mississippi. Some great people. They put on the local pageant. And then those local winners get to come to our state pageant. So, again, it's just www.missmagnoliastate.com. If the Miss Magnolia State pageant might be something you might be interested in competing in in the future. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I had to say. I just wanted to say again, I'm so thankful to be number two best state pageant in the United States of America. I'm so humble and blessed and thankful that this happened. And um, I look forward to meeting you guys. I hope you'll give our pageant a chance. All right, you guys have a great week. Bye. Visit us online at www.missmagnoliastate.com. Hey everybody, it's Chris 